Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys beauty products that I've been using a lot in the past month, which is January of 2012. And I'm also having a few giveaways for the month of February, so I'll share that information with you guys too. I'm going to get started by showing you guys an eyeshadow palette that I've been using a lot, and this one is from Lancome. And this is Lancome's Color Design Eyeshadow Palette, and this is in the color 202, which is Sienna Sultry. Let me just open this up. So it's got five eyeshadow colors, but the top one here, this one, this one can be used as a liner also. So I find the quality of the eyeshadows in this palette to be pretty decent, but I don't actually like some of the colors. I uh, like this middle color here, the taupish color. I find that color to be um, too muddy looking. It looks like dirty mud. And this color here, it looks like a nice ivory color in the pan, but on my skin, it looks like my skin color, but kind of dirty. So those two colors I don't like. All the other colors, including the liner color, I do really like. Uh, the liner color, it's a blackened reddish brown color with glitters. And you can use it as liner, but you can also use it as eyeshadow to kind of deepen your crease to give yourself some smoky eyes with this palette. All right, so yeah, the quality of the eyeshadows are pretty good, but the colors, I wasn't happy about all of them, all right? So that's what I think about this one. Next, I have an eyeshadow from Sephora. This is Sephora's Prisma Chrome Eyeshadow. And this is number 45, which is a burgundy gem. This pan looks so pretty. And it's super pigmented. It literally does look like uh, painted on chrome metal on my swatch. So I'll do a quick finger swatch. So that's what it looks like on my finger. Um, if you use a wet brush with this eyeshadow, it's even more pigmented. Alright, so this is a definite hit. Next, I bought some products from MAC's Naturally Collection. A couple of eyeshadows. These are mineralized eyeshadows from Naturally Collection. I have Summer Haze, which is this color. And I also got Twilight Falls. I find Summer Haze to be more unique um, because this one, the color contrast is more severe that I can use one section, like this part here, for one color and then I can use the bronzy part for a different color. Okay, so I can get two different colors or mix it up and get a third color. Uh, whereas the color contrast of this one, it's not as noticeable, but I mean, I can still use different sections, I guess, like this lighter part here and then this darker part here. But again, the color difference is not that noticeable. All right. Next, I bought a blush from the same collection. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is Max Fresh Honey Mineralized Blush from Naturally Collection. And this one I really, really like because I find this to be unique since most mineralized blushes, actually all mineralized blushes that I have from MAC are shimmery, but this one is not. It's a matte finish. I like the color. It's this refreshing um, orangey peachy color. And I love how it's a matte finish color. Okay, obviously on my finger swatch, it's not blended, so it's not going to look like that on my cheeks. It'll look uh, nicely blended on my cheeks. Kind of like that, or even more blended. Next, I also bought another mineralized blush from MAC, but this is from their regular collection, I think. It's called Warm Soul, and this one is kind of shimmery. Uh, it's a very nice light baby pink color with a little bit of apricot in it. There's a quick finger swatch. And I'll apply it right beside Fresh Honey. So that's Warm Soul, or this one. <laughs> I hate pointing on camera. It's so hard. Uh, see? I'm all over the place. I have two more matte blush products to show you guys. These are blush ombres. I have Vintage Grape and Azalea Blossom. 
These products I got from a collection that came out last year, but I know that there's a collection out right now called uh, Daphne Guinness, I believe. Yes, yeah, so that collection is featuring these two products right now, so you can get these. I love these products, by the way. I'll show you guys why. Here is a vintage grape. So you can get this deep purple color, or you can get this um, lavenderish pink color, or you can mix the two and get a third color. All right, so that's pretty unique. And same thing goes for Azalea Blossom, obviously. You can get this lavenderish color here, or you can get this baby pink, or mix the two and get third color. So these two products I think are definitely worth having in your collection. So if you didn't get these before, um, get these now while you still can, all right? So yeah, I love these. I have one more blush product to show you guys, and it's from Benefit. This is Benefit's Hervana. It's one of their box face powders or face blushes. It opens up like this. There's a mirror here, and the inside looks like this. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today. I swirled the entire thing and I applied it right here. But even this product, you can use different sections to get different colors. And this product, it smells amazing, as do all of the Benefit box powders do. And it came with this angled brush, which is a nice change. The other ones came with like a straight edged brush. And um, yeah, it's really pigmented, really easy to use. And the color is really pretty. And I said really a lot just now. Um, I think it's suitable for anyone who's fair skin tone to medium skin tone. All right, so yeah, this is a good product too. Next, I have some lip products to show you guys. I have three lip glosses from Hourglass. And these three lip glosses came in a set in this box. And this set is called Extreme Sheen Set. So it came with these three colors. I'll show you one by one. This one here, it's an orangey red color with lots of shimmers. And it's called Siren. And it's so pigmented. It literally looks like painted on liquid lipstick. Next, I have Ignite, which is a nice uh, peachy bronzy color. So that's Ignite. Um, lastly, I have a color called Child. And this color is the one that I used the most in the past month. And it reminds me of MAC's uh, Cream Sheen lip gloss called uh, Boy Bait. So this one here, the one that I'm pointing to, is the one that's called Child. That reminds me of Boy Bait. Except that this one, Child, is more peachy. Okay, I'll actually do a swatch of Boy Bait right beside it. So that's Boy Bait. And that's Child. So the finish is quite similar too. So I do like all three of these Hourglass lip glosses. They smell amazing. They smell like vanilla-ish. Reminds me of lip glosses from, I think, Bare Essentials or Buxom. Yeah, they smell great. They're moisturizing. They're very pigmented. All's good. Uh, next, I'm going to show you guys a lipstick that I got from Hourglass also. And this color is called Fresco. Looks like that. And I'm wearing this on my lips today underneath uh, the lip gloss child. So I'll do a quick swatch of this too. So that one there is a Fresco lipstick from Hourglass. So as you can see, it's kind of sheer, but pigmented enough that it shows on my lips really well. And it's very moisturizing. And my lips feel like I have nothing on, but obviously I have this lipstick on because the color is uh, very obvious on the lips. Yeah, so this lipstick is a definite hit. Um, I'm already thinking about going to Sephora and looking for different lipsticks from Hourglass because... I'm pretty sure I'll like uh, their other colors too. But they didn't have a huge color selection. That was the only thing. 
All right, next I'm gonna move on to skincare. Actually, before I move on, I'm gonna show you guys this nail polish. I'm actually wearing this on my nails right now. This is the Nails Ink Magnetic Polish. I bought this because it just looks so interesting. I had to get it and try it. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. I didn't really do a good job because I was in a rush to just apply it to show it to you guys in this video. Um, if I took my time, I could have probably done a better job. Okay, let me first tell you guys how you can use this. You apply a coat of this on your nails and then you let that completely dry and then you apply a second coat and you take the top off and there's magnets here and you put this top on top like this. Make sure it doesn't actually touch your nail. You put this on top uh, when the second coat isn't dried yet and then it starts to form a pattern which is something like this. And a couple of tips that I can give you guys is that make sure the first coat is completely dried before you apply a second coat. And that when you hold the top, the magnet on top here, make sure that you don't move around too much. Okay, you don't have to put it super close. You can be a little bit far apart like this, but make sure you're not shaking too much or shaking at all actually. All right, so that's what I have to say about this. Let's now move on to some skincare products. I have Dr. Brandt's Collagen Eye Serum. Looks like that. I have mixed feelings for this product. I love the applicator, which looks like that. It's got this metal ball tip that you can use to massage around your eye area. And using this around your eye area will help to activate blood flow and it helps to calm down puffiness, which is good. But the actual collagen serum product, I'm not too happy about because it's got this sticky texture and I don't find it to be all that effective anyways. And um, when I apply anything on top of it, even Tony water, it starts to make this weird residue, which I'm not too happy about. So yeah, that's this. I wish uh, Dr. Brand or maybe even a different company made some sort of tool that looks like this that I can use to massage around my eye area, but one that I can use with my own choice of serum. That would be good. Next, I have a product from Shumera. This is their Stage Performer Face Cream. It's not only a regular face cream, but it's an Instant Glow Immediate Radiance Skin Perfecting Cream. And this has been my favorite uh, skin cream for the past month, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to continue to be my favorite product this month and probably longer. Um, this one, what's so special about it is that it looks like regular cream right there, but once you start to massage it in, it changes color and it adjusts to your skin tone. So it doesn't matter what skin color you are, you can use this and it will adjust to your skin tone. Um, so it does give a slight coverage because of the skin tone change or the, the color change of the cream, but I don't really use it for the coverage, but I use it more so for the illuminating effect. It gives your skin this really nice, I don't know if you can see, really, you can't really see on the screen, but it gives this really nice inner glow that only pregnant women can get unless you have this product that is. All right, so this is a really awesome product, which I'm sure I'm going to talk about again and again. And hopefully I'll do a separate review for this very soon. Next are cleansing waters that I've been using a lot. I have the Rock Extra Comfort Cleansing Water. This product, it has 400 milliliter in it, but it's only $24. So this is an awesome deal. And this product, it's effective in taking off makeup. And I think it's supposed to be unscented, but it does have this slight hospital water-ish scent to it. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that, but it's not a, a offensive smell, but it's not pleasant. Yeah, but it's good for sensitive skin and it does work in taking off all your makeup. And it's very affordable. So those are some good things. Next, I have Max Mineralized Charge Water Cleanser. This product, it's only 100 milliliter, so it's about, it's exactly a quarter of an amount of this product, but it's more expensive and um, it's effective. It takes off makeup. I saw on the web that they say that it's not supposed to be used to take off a pro longwear foundation or waterproof makeup or mascara, I guess. 
Um, you can still use this to take off waterproof makeup, yes, but it just takes more tries. And with this product, because it's so tiny and you know the price is more than this, I don't know. Because with cleansing water, you can't be cheap with it. You have to be generous, generous in really soaking the cotton pad and then using that to remove uh, makeup off your face because if there's not enough product in the cotton pad and you're using that to rub your face, you might uh, damage your skin more so than cleaning off makeup. All right, so yeah, mineralized charged water cleanser from MAC. Um, I wish it was more affordable or they have a bigger bottle. Next is a toning water that I got from Kiehl's, a toning mist actually. This is a Kiehl's Acai Berry Toning Mist. And this product I like because it's different from other uh, like toning waters in that when I spray this, I actually feel the difference. It feels like it's really toning and firming up my skin and giving my skin um, energy or it's energizing my skin. Uh, in that I can feel the difference. I can smell the difference. It's not like those water sprays where you spray it and you don't really see any difference because it just feels like you sprayed water. This one you can actually feel it. Yeah, but it doesn't feel good when you get it in your eyes, so you have to be careful with that. One last product I have here to show you guys is this one. It's a Nexus Pro Mend Overnight Treatment Cream. This product, it helps to uh, mend split ends. So if you have a lot of split ends, but you can't cut your hair, uh, this is a product to try, all right? I mean, the best way to get rid of split ends is still to get a trim, I mean, to cut it off, but let's say you're trying to grow your hair, or you just can't cut your hair, and you have lots of split ends, this is a product worth trying because I find that it worked for me. Um, it didn't get rid of all of my split ends, but it did help a lot. Okay, so this is Nexus Pro Mend. Now on to the giveaway information. I'm going to have three giveaways in the month of February. And the prizes will be, for the first giveaway, I'm going to include long comb, color design, doll lashes, eyeshadow palette, along with long comb, hypnose, doll lashes, mascara. So the prize for the first giveaway is these ones right here and this giveaway starts right now and you can enter by going on Twitter and you do have to be my Twitter follower but you can tweet your entry to me by saying enter me to doll lashes giveaway that's all you have to do on Twitter and I will announce the winner on February 14th so to one of you guys out there uh, you will get a Valentine's Day gift from me and it will be these two products all right and the second giveaway will start after Valentine's Day and the prize for that one will be Confessions of Concealaholic by Benefit. Comes with all of these little mini products. Some of these are my favorite Benefit products. And it comes in this cute little box. Um, this giveaway will happen on Facebook after Valentine's Day, so February 15th. And during the last week of February, I will have another giveaway, which will also be held on Facebook. Um, and for that one, the prize is a surprise. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.